Fellow Kazakhstans, we have a big problem. I'm looking all over YouTube and I'm seeing all these wonderful, outrageous, funny, amusing, angry, involved videos about the American electoral process. Who they like, who they don't like, making fun of this one, doing something for that one, and what do I see? Almost nothing, fellow Kanakistans, on our political process. And frankly, I think we're even funnier than they are. So we are in an election year that just begs amounts of satire, that begs for us to yell, shout, scream, we don't even have an electoral process at this point. What did Canadians say they want? Oh, well, they want more employment. They want better social services. They want their health care fixed instead of sold off to the highest bidder. Do you see any of that in the political platform? I don't. So what are we left with? Somebody who says they're going to give 25 artists a job while the rest of us are unemployed. Then we have another one that says, what I'm going to do for you is suck American meep. Okay, that's not working for me either. If we're going to talk about freedom, somebody please list five actual concrete realities and facts that would make you feel like you had a sense of freedom. So if the Conservatives are promising freedom, I'd like to see five concrete facts around what they mean by freedom. Honestly, I think it's they're free to give corporate welfare to more of their friends, but then I'm not a Conservative by any stretch of the imagination. However, I'm sure that people who are Conservatives could argue that point. Now we have the NDP. Jack Layton, I'm sorry, but Jack Layton is a stuffed animal, okay? He's all fuzzy and cute on the outside, and inside is a bunch of recycled trash from somewhere else, okay? I don't think that man has had an original thought till he zipped up his fly one morning and something got caught and maybe he said something rude and it might even have been original, but I wasn't in the urinal when it happened. But somebody swore to me that he really did say something original once. Now we have Dion. Well, he's kind of in a losing proposition before he even gets out of the gate here. It's not that anybody has any great love for the Liberals anymore. They haven't since Trudeau. I just want to know, are we going to get more jobs? Are we going to work on poverty reduction? Stop talking, start doing, make things happen. Or are we just going to go through another four years of hemming and hawing and complaining, at least the Americans are interesting. Come on, Canada. I see all these Canadian YouTubers and you're dropping off left, right, and center like flies in here. I saw at least 20 TV programs. Are we not supporting each other somehow in this operation? I have no idea why we're struggling so much with YouTube. We have lesser views than the Americans. Yet again. Okay, we have a smaller population. That's granted, that's given. We have 6.5 acres of land per person. I'm not sure they have something the size of a shoebox per person in a much smaller land. And tell that to a Texan, they almost cry. What are we going to do here, people? We need to kick up YouTube, fire up this election, Get Canadians passionate. We are by nature more passionate than Americans, no offense to our American buddies, but we really are because we're a little less Anglo-Saxon, a little bit more French, a little bit more native, you know, all these sort of passionate things. We've got lots of Métis. Say Métis, the Americans don't even know what that is. So we have all these wonderfully passionate people, and what are they doing with this election? They're droning on like this, if they have anything to say at all. Come on, Kanakistan, let's make our politics as dirty, interesting, satirical, rude, obnoxious, and disrespectful as our American cousins. Thank you very much. Have a good freaking day.